everyone, it's Kylie Vertucci and I just heard a knock on the door the minute I was literally about to go live. Is everything okay, Bruno Vertucci? Yes? Good. Awesome. Send me a text message. I've got my phone, you can radio me. <laughs> How are you all today? So nice to see you. Now I have Jasper and Bella in here today because I just saw news that Dina Recow has Izzy back, her dog. Oh, we were so stressed for her. So we were so happy to see the news that she's back safe. And yeah, she ran away with the fireworks on the 4th of July. So we were all holding our breath, I think everywhere around the world, hoping that Izzy was safe and everything was fine and she is so I was so happy about that because I kept looking at Jasper and Bella and thinking oh my goodness I would be beside myself if our doggies ran away so yes I'm very happy that there's some good news do you want to come up and say hello to you Bella do you want to say hello to everyone <laughs> she's looking at me like it's really cold here and I need cuddles I've even got an electric blanket on for them an electric throw and um, they've stolen it, of course, because, you know, that's what our fair babies do. <laughs> they steal all our good things. <laughs> good morning, everyone. Morning from Bella. Look how snuggly she is. It's because she's freezing. <laughs> and Jasper's snoring on the floor. He's got his pyjamas on. <laughs> so what's new with all of you? I can see there's so many of you on today. I'm so excited to see all of you here. Um, 92 on YouTube and I'm not too sure how many we have over on Facebook but hello to all our Facebook as well. Kathy I can see you're over there so that's lovely. Um, but yeah it's so nice to see all of you and saying where you're from. Some of you Brisbane. Hi Leanne good to see you. Charlotte we've got our usuals here. Kathy, Patricia so lovely to see you all. Um, but it's going to be so nice to do some crafting together today and I hope that you might be able to craft along with me. If you have our card template tutorials, you're actually going to find this really simple to do. So pull out your card template tutorial, even if you don't have them cut up. If you've just purchased the tutorial, then um, you don't need to have them cut. You could just refer to the sheet. Um, if you haven't got our card template tutorials, you can go head over and get the tutorial now. It's $5 Australian. Cheap as chips. Cheap as a cup of coffee. Uh, card template. And that is the link there. And once you download it, then you can get the PDF that we send you. I'll just make sure that your tube's turned down. Yes. And I'll go over to Facebook and add it to Facebook as well because it's really like there's a lot of layers to this card that we're doing today but with the card templates it just makes it a piece it's a piece of cake once you get told exactly what measurements to do life is fine <laughs> just tell me what to do and I'll copy you <laughs> but the good thing is you can do sort of whatever design you want you don't have to do the design that we have and you can use whatever you have on hand. So I've got here, uh, I think if I put Bell, Bella's heads right in the way of my keyboard, it's like she's trying to lick my hand while I'm typing. Card template. I think you're gonna have to go down on the ground when I get serious crafting, Bella. <laughs> you're gonna get in the way. <laughs> So I'll put the, the link on both YouTube and Facebook because it's going to really help you to get these measurements correct. Yeah. Aww. Anita said um, her little doggie's gone over to the Rainbow Bridge. <laughs> Makes me sad when I see doggies go. They're, so, they're such good friends, aren't they? I've missed these two so much if they were gone. That's what you can't help but feel for people when they put the posts up on Facebook. I'm like, <laughs> I feel your pain in my heart. Now, Yvonne, she said she struggled to download it. This is really weird thing, especially if you're using your phone now. Um, 
and I wish I could show you because uh, maybe I can share my iPad screen. But are you um, Apple device or Android, Yvonne? Because the way that you download now is so bizarro. But there's like, let's see if I can find one that I can show you how to download. Because, yeah, I tried to do it recently and I was like, how do you download now? So it might be easier to just do it on your computer rather than on a mobile device. I've got a bit of lippy on my face. <laughs> but yes, it's very, very frustrating. But I can send you the document if you still have problems. But just sort of look for where downloads are or do it on your computer because Apple keeps changing things and making it very difficult for us. Why change it if it's not broken? <laughs> yes, we're so happy she has Izzy. Oh my goodness, that was so stressful. Every morning I kept updating and then in, then I'd go, Bruno, have you seen me? what's happening with Izzy? He's like, no. I kept checking all the time and then when I finally saw her, I was like, she's okay. Thank goodness for that. So I'll show you the measurements here. Just move these little... GB whackers out of the way for now so that you can see this nice and clear. I'm going to lay it out for you so that you can take a, a screenshot without my noggin in the way. Okay, I think I'm ready. Ready? Da -da! So here are your measurements. If you don't have um, our card templates, you might be wondering what on earth are you talking about right now? But each one of these names represents a layer that coordinates with the measurement in your country. So we all have different measurements in different places. Um, Canada and the US have the same and then the rest of the world have another measurement. But there's also other measurements within those measurements. <laughs> So go and get the measurement that you use and this is our measurement translator because <laughs> we need translation because we don't use the same measurements. Isn't that crazy? And that creates a lot of confusion when we go to make cards. So that is what we're going to be using today. So if you want to craft along with me, this is going to be your card base. You could also use the Gorgeous Grape, but I've used the Calypso Coral. And here is the card, the piece of resistance. We're going to do something different, of course, because that's true Kylie style. <laughs> we can never do the same thing. Um, but I wanted to play with the Awash in Beauty suite. But also I want to show you a few ideas with some of the other products as well. And here is the exact same card. You're ready for it. But using brand new designer series paper from Celebration and a really cute set that I was thinking how am I going to use this set you ready dun, 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 dun. so now it's turned into a masculine card I thought this is such a cool card because the background sort of reminded me of something cold and this stamp set here is actually from the Forever Friendship so that's the Forever Friendship, which is a really cute set. I can't wait to use these plants here and this typewriter. But that little cardigan, I was like, oh, it reminds me of my Poppy. Because Poppy likes to wear cardigans. But it's got here time for a cardigan. But I thought, you know what, I want it to be something a bit bigger, the font. So I've used the coordinating stamp set that goes with this Desire Series paper. And it's called Ringed with Nature and it's got lots of really cool um, sentiments and images on there that you can use along with this beautiful paper. And this is all, um, this paper is actually celebration paper and it is absolutely gorgeous. I've got some here to show you. So it's called Rings of Love and you can get this free at the moment with any purchase over $90 in Australia. But it has like really, really great designs on here that you're going to absolutely adore. And then the stamp set coordinates with it. So this stamp set is available for purchase. 
it comes in a bundle and it has some really great um, embossing folder and like a hybrid so you can do the cutting as well so really really great paper so I thought I'll highlight that for you today but I also wanted to bring out the awash in beauty because we're working on that at the moment with the tutorial bundle so this is the only month where you can get the subscription to our um, tutorial bundle we have like a six month subscription that we do every six months and yeah if you want to get that I'll put up the link in fact I may have actually I don't think I've put it on YouTube but I'll pop up the links for you so that you can get lots and lots of ideas and as you can see with cards like this you can get an idea or a template or a layout and then you can kind of go with run with it and use it for any style of card you can see all I've done here is just sort of twisted it to the side instead of a ribbon I've done some baker's twine so just a few little changes and it becomes like a completely different card oh Miranda you're so cute <laughs> I feel like I'm squealing for joy. <laughs> You've made me so happy reading that. <laughs> yeah, there's 140 here tonight. And then we've got some of them on Facebook as well. It's a busy day. We're excited about crafting today. We want to have a bit of fun. Has everyone got the beverage? No. <laughs> Grab your beverage, everyone. Oh, Laura's here too. Hi, Laura Barton. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. And Charlotte too. Oh, so good to see you all. <laughs> oh, that's good. You just got this bundle, Susan. Well done. And I hope you're recovering too. I know there's a lot that are sick at the moment. So please know we're sending our love to all of you that are not feeling well at the moment. Hope that you're resting up and getting some time out. Because, yeah, it's hard to have rest. Particularly as a wife, I feel like. As a woman, it's very challenging because we feel guilty. Like, what even? Why would we feel guilty about needing rest? Please, let, let me tell you this. You are permitted to not feel guilty, okay? I've taken your guilt. I've, I've absorbed your guilt away from you. So I'm going to use basic black. In case you're wondering what I'm doing, <clears throat> I'm doing my layer one. So get your Calypso Coral. Or your gorgeous grape, depending on how you like to open your card. Gorgeous grape opens this way. <laughs> so whatever way you like to open the card. So I've got that one there. Yep. And I like to use my trimmer. So I'll bring this down. I like to use this. I was actually flipping it, but it's actually quite good in this corner. Because it has you know, a little bit missing here, but that's fine. It you can still go right up against the edge there. And then squish along the edge and then it perfectly lines up <clears throat> and it it's happy it's happy days and I love that I'm about due for another blade change I feel because it's starting to just raise up a little bit but these blades last so so much longer than our last trimmer do you all feel that I'm very happy with it I'm really happy that Stampin' Up changed it now I'm doing the awash in beauty paper. <clears throat> it's very hard, <clears throat> excuse me, not to use this side because it's gorgeous. But I don't want the paper too, like this is a bit full on, but I don't want it too full on because it's kind of a background. Oh, actually we want this. We want to have a piece, I've already got it here cut here, that's why I didn't cut it. But you do need a um, basic white or some sort of, color whatever color you want because we're doing the next layer now so i've done the calypso coral measurement which is the basic black we're now going to do a poppy parade layer in whatever color you want so say your paper's got a little bit of vanilla in it so you might want to put vanilla with your paper or maybe you're doing like a color maybe you want to do polished pink in between so that's like a polished pink layer you could do that in between. So whatever you want, but that's Poppy Parade measurement. Then I'm going to come in with my Design Series paper or another alternative if you don't have any paper 
is to maybe emboss something. You could do embossing at this stage instead of the paper in the background. That could be a beautiful embossing folder. You could do stamping, a whole lot of stamping, but just really subtle stamping and multiple stamping in the background. So that's really handy. When it comes to backgrounds, you're either creating um, designer series paper, embossing folder, or doing some stamping in the background, or maybe even some watercoloring, whatever you want. But remember, it is a background. So you're just sort of creating all these layers. And we're going to do that at the Melon Mambo measurement so that you can see my card templates here they've told us to do the base the poppy parade then the melon member and you can see there's just like this little tiny slither behind if you don't like wasting a whole sheet I like my cards to be quite layered and firm I love the how it feels when it has like all these layers but if you find it a little bit like oh my goodness are you kidding me I'm using an entire layer just for this tiny little visual then you can punch out the center you know use this for something else like a sentiment or whatever you want and stick it down um, no one's gonna know but that's entirely up to you so that's our first set of layers then we're going to build our next lot and what I want to do with the next lot I think I'm going to do so we've got these next three so I've got <clears throat> another basic white I'm going to do there and I don't know whether to bring in I think I might do basic black for the Bermuda Bay and then another basic white which is the one that we're going to stamp on now this one here could also be paper you know, don't shy away from paper on paper because we've got this beautiful designer series paper already already done for us so we could use the more busy side and then just add a sentiment and a ribbon and you you don't have to stamp at all but I want to show you some stamping and this little piece we're going to put on the inside so nothing gets wasted keep that there so let's do some chopping again we're going to do a basic black in the Bermuda Bay and these two are going to be basic white so let's chop those two I'll start with my basic white sizes so have a look what measurements they are in your country and your layers and I find these templates really handy in terms of just giving you like a place to start creatively I find that's the hardest thing when I decide I want to craft. I'm like, yep, I'm ready to craft now. And I'm like, oh, don't make me use my brain. <laughs> I don't want to think today. I just want to play. So, yeah, it just helps me to go, okay, I know what layers I'm using. Just tell me what, spit out to me what measurements I'm using. And then I don't have to guess. I'm using way less cardstock. Um, because everything's what it needs to be it's just very very handy and then I'm doing the Bermuda Bay layer now that's the in-between one and remember this can be whatever color you want I would highly recommend using the color of your card base whatever you've chosen as your card base you can see in both of these cards I did the card base one so it just really highlights everything but it doesn't have to be it can be wheat warm. If you're hearing snoring, it's not Bruno. It's little Jasper. He's all warm and happy now in his little pyjamas. So that's all our chopping. Can you believe it? So we've got all our layers ready to go. And I love doing it like this where we've got everything we need ready to go. All our layers are happy and they're all sorted. And then we can have a look and see if it's what we like. So I have the prerogative to change my mind. I actually don't mind that. But I will have a look at the polish pink and see if I prefer it. Because <laughs> I'm allowed to. And I can use those layers for something else. They're not going to be wasted. I might come up with, you know, a different piece of paper or, yeah, something else that's going to really impact that um, those colours better. Than what I've got there 
but we'll we'll look and see, right? We'll compare the pair. <laughs> How's everyone? You're all chopping? And Charlotte said you could die cut something from the middle. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Especially if you're using foil, absolutely. Like with foil, it's like no brainer. There is no way I'm gonna just have this tiny little couple of millimeters or you know, tiny, <laughs> tiny little bit, and then um yeah, put the whole piece of foil down. It's like uh uh, you're too expensive to be hiding behind. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you love those layers. Oh, thank you, Miranda. That's good. But we'll just have a look at the um polished pink and see compare them both because it is gorgeous and you can see oh maybe i am going to swap that out because we're allowed to change our mind we're allowed to play around this is where we go okay i'm going to make another card <laughs> using the exact same thing now we want that measurement to be the Bermuda Bay measurement. So I'm doing 12 point, does it go that way? Yes. So we'll go there and there. And let's have a look at this and see what we think. I'll let you all decide whether we stay with the, and maybe after we stamp, it will change it again because you know once you stamp it makes all sense because I've got an idea of what I'm going to do for my flower oh that is pretty but anyway we'll see what happens when we do our stamping <laughs> this is half the problem you're like oh what am I going to do now to change the face but yeah we'll do some stamping and then it all makes sense then and it depends what ribbon we use too we might use a ribbon that we want to change but it's just good having a little bit of flexibility there in what we want to do so I want to use some stamping I didn't have to I could just use some designer series paper but I want to show you this true beauty stamp set which comes with the awash in beauty suite of products and this one here stood out to me I've got this beautiful stem here and what I thought I'd do was actually to um, have a bit of a play with some dyes but also to have a bit of a play doing this in basic black like in the memento black is that a bit strange I said that to Bruno um should I do it do a stem in me memento <laughs> um but yeah we'll see we'll have a play because I've got my granny apple green here just in case but I just thought bringing another color in with this I thought mm, I'm not feeling the granny with this I feel like it needs to be memento so let's have a bit of a play and the other thing I wanted to show you which is really nice to do to step up your card because we've already done this one in the awash with beauty so it's the exact same layout but what I thought I'd show you is a stepped up version. I've stamped directly onto this one. But what I'm going to do is do some die cutting because we have the dies that cut out these beautiful flowers. And then I can sort of play a little bit with the background because this is quite minimalist and quite clean. And yeah, there's not a lot going on in that background, which I love. It kind of looks like a frame, but you can change this very quickly. So I've got this one here, and the one that I thought I'd try, I'll show you that some of the dies here that I've got. <clears throat> so I thought something like this one here would be really nice. Um, so these are new dies, and some of these dies in the new annual catalogue are actually standalones. Um, so you could have something like that and then have the flower over the top. So you've got this beautiful pattern. Even this one here, it's sort of underrated because you could have your flower. Work out where you want your sentiment to go, although we can, it can go anywhere really because we can use the, we don't have to stamp it on the card. But I do want to try this because it's one of those ones that you might miss, but I think it will be a beautiful, beautiful way to use this die 
some people might look at it and go, what am I going to use this for? But this is a perfect way to use this dye to just create a little bit of accent in the background. And then you've got this one here as well, which is so pretty. And I'm pretty sure that what this does is cut, it would cut out the background, but leave like it's not going to, yeah, it would still leave it all intact. So that's another really gorgeous one. And the other one that I think would be perfect for this style, so I'm going to use that one. I'll keep that one there. This one is called Artisan Editions, in case you haven't seen this before. Hello, Bruno Baticci. So if you have questions, please ask Bruno because he's here in the house. Yes, because sometimes I miss you. I miss what you're saying. Bruno can radio me on my iPhone. <laughs> Do you want to test to see if that works, Bruno? Um, Kylie. <laughs> Because I just saw a comment. Can you move the trimmer over? Sorry, I just read it a bit too late. <laughs> um, but here's another set of dies that I think are absolutely gorgeous and would be perfect with something like this as well. And that's the split textures. And you could come in here. And this was actually the one that I had set my heart on. But I actually saw this and thought, ooh, that one's actually quite geometric and fun. I want to play with that. But you can come in like so. And I'm pretty sure, like you'd probably just have to be careful that you're right on an edge piece here so that you still have an edge. Otherwise, you're going to have like hacked pieces sort of going a bit funny. So just make sure that you're like, you've got a line here and a line along there. And then you've got this cool ripped edge look, which, yeah. But anyway, we can have a play of a few of them. Because, you know, let's just do a few prototypes and, and work out which one's the best, <laughs> which one we like the most. So I've got my little mini over here. We can play with our mini today. There you are, little one. And I like to personally use, because of one of our amazing people here, Stampin' Up! recommends the white with the two but personally, I like the grey. I'm pretty sure it's this one here. Just a little bit less. For my machine, it's just a tiny little bit small, like, yeah, not as thick. Very slight, but it's enough for me to make it a lot easier to put it through the machine. So if you're struggling with your machine, getting it to connect then maybe that's what you can do. So I'm just going to pop it like this, like so, and then we'll see what happens. We'll see what this looks like. It's all new to me too. I haven't got to play with this one yet. Ready? See how beautiful it just grabs it straight away. No drama. No having to stack or anything. So, yeah, if, you, if you've been hating on your mini... Ooh, that looks really good, but it hasn't gone through properly. That's one thing I have noticed with the mini that Bruno mentioned too. He said, um, I think with more detailed dyes, your mini isn't cutting the mustard, but this might be where you have to use the larger layer. This might be where you have to stack because it needs that extra little bit of push in there. I'll just go a little bit slower. We'll see if we can trick it. <laughs> there we go. Let's see if that works. If not, I'll have to use the other layer. Yeah, I think it's done it. That looks really cool, doesn't it? Look at that. And so what we're going to do is cut out our flower and um, layer it on top of this. Now, these cut through mm, slightly, not as perfect as I'd like. So maybe that's, but anyway, we can put a flower over the top of that. I actually don't mind it half cut. <laughs> oh, it's actually not bad. <laughs> 
We'll leave that one there. But how cool is that dye? I really love that. And then it's going to show the color through from the other side. So maybe the basic black will look really good behind the flower because we're going to layer that. Look at that. Oh, we do want that piece out. That just looks so hot, doesn't it? Let's push you out, little one. You don't want to come out, but you're coming out, whether you like it or not. It's just a little bit there that it, it didn't grow. Oh, yeah, there we go. Look at that. <gasps> I want this dye in my life. Oh, I've already got it. <laughs> Oh, that looks so good. It's almost like brought this geometric feel to a floral. I love that, like, mashup. Now, this can go straight into the bin because otherwise you'll end up with bits and pieces everywhere. This could also be very good to put in shaker card, these pieces. But, yeah, goodbye, little ones. Thank you for your service. <laughs> Now, the other ones I want to try, because we're going to cut out the flower and layer that over the top. It's going to look so hot. But I just want to show you the other dot, the other um, ones here, the split card textures. So let's have a look at that one. I'm going to cut down. This size here is actually our Highland Heather size. So can I actually get to out of this? No, I think I might use a full sheet because I want to get a couple of these. Let's get a full sheet. Yes. So you can actually use the templates to work out what's the best way to cut it by eyeballing. See, you can't get three across. So and can you get two across this way? No. Oh, but then you could get, you could do one this way and then one this way. So that would be the best way to get the most out of your cardstock. That's what I love about this. <clears throat> so I'm going to do the largest size along here. I mean, I'm, you can't see the cut, but it's going to be different in your country anyway. <clears throat> I'm going to come in and do the smaller size and I'm going to do a few of them just so that we can try different backgrounds and then you can all catch up with me hopefully. Hopefully you're crafting along with me. You can just do simple layers. You don't have to emboss or like even embossing this layer would be lovely actually. And then because we've done all the work, on this we know that this is going to be the smaller size and then we can get a good amount out of one sheet of paper isn't that the coolest so you save a lot of cardstock stock because that's all we're left with is scrap pieces from a whole sheet which I love Look at it all. <laughs> Thank you, card templates. <laughs> you helped me to work out how to do this. Now, let's play with these ones and see what you need to do to make this look good. Yes. Now, I'm going to use the, the thicker one, even though I said not to. I think for a detailed die like this, we need the layered effect so you just layer it like so because you want it to go into the machine but I do want it to be very very tight in there so try and have your flattest piece at the bottom and we're going to line this up so that each edge is sitting there yeah I like that stay there behave yourself okay here we go people ah that's good Paula being very gentle squish K 
if you in place. And then we'll feed that through because we've laid it and grabbed it, okay? And it's just a little bit tighter with the white one, so hopefully it's going to cut. Let's just try one time and see what it looks like. I haven't gone backwards or forwards. Yeah, look at that. It's chopped that baby. Now, where's my little other ears? Isn't this the coolest? I love this die too. I love playing with all this stuff so we can work out what it looks like. Sometimes you've got to see it for yourself. So unfortunately my little idea of lining up didn't work as well, but I actually don't mind it. What do you think everyone? Because it's going to be sitting, I thought it would be sitting like that, but anyway we'll see once we cut the flowers what it looks like. Look at that! Oh my goodness! That is such a cool die! Oh, oh, oh. Can you tell I'm excited? <laughs> oh my goodness! What do you all think of that? <laughs> it's a really cool die. Laura's the same. What? <laughs> that is a really cool die. <laughs> Stand that up. How do you keep coming up with cool ideas? <laughs> Look at that. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. And you know what? I would probably do if I was doing this one. I think I would do my little piece. I think that's the bit that I would do in the polished pink. Instead of the basic white, I would just do that really tiny little layer of polished pink there. I think that's what it needs. Don't you reckon? <gasps> that looks so good. <laughs> I really love that. But anyway, we keep playing. <laughs> I am going to cut this down though at that Poppy Parade layer just so that you can see that choice that I just made. Oops, no, that's the scoring tool, not the cutting tool. Oh my goodness, those dies are out of this world amazing. So they're called, not the Artisan. Oh yeah, they're over here. Underneath my mini. Split card textures. So they're in the new annual catalogue. If you haven't got them yet, split card textures. And I want to see what this one looks like too. Because, you know, why not? Let's play with them all. That's how we find out what they look like. <laughs> Straight in the bin. You're proud of me, Bruno. It really did go in the bin. So I'm just going to try this. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Just a tiny little accent, but I just feel like, because this polish pink is a more subdued version of polish pink, I just felt like it needed the real colour behind to lift it. I really like that. And, of course, once we do the flower, I'm going to do the flower and polish pink as well. That's a really cool card. So there you go. There's an idea. There's another one. Let's have another play of another one because we've got lots of pre-cut ones here to go. So let's do this one. And again, I'm going to use my white on this one and stack it. Just sort of have layers happening here. And then go up against the edge here. And actually, I'd be interested to see what happens if you aren't up against the edge. Let's leave a little bit of a border like that. And that actually might work better because then you're creating that border that it needs. Whee! 
Here we go. Whoa. I'm excited. Wow. I do like it with that border. Don't you reckon? It's like creating that clean, neat. And, I, and like I don't mind that it's not up, like up the top that it's coming off. I think that that looks really good. What do you reckon, everyone? How pretty is it? Those dies are literally out of this world. <laughs> yeah, I understand. <laughs> so this paper is the Awash in Beauty paper. Yeah, it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous dyes, those ones. They're definitely must-have items. And there's just the two of them, but I think you can get a lot of great use out of them. So I think that was the main ones. There was one other one that I said that I'd try, which was the the one that went with this one. Artisan Editions. Let's try these two. So I, I want to see what this one looks like, but I also want to see what this one looks like. We've got them here ready to go <laughs> so we can have a play. And like you could do all of these cards, have them all, have them all pre-done, all these different layers, and then just make like a whole stack of cards all in one go. All using the same layout, just change up your paper in the background a bit. What's going on in there, Bruno Batucci? I can hear him going, oh. <laughs> I'm going to do it that way. Okay. And you saw that I just only had to do it once. Whereas when I use the grey one, yeah, see, it's just that little bit thicker. So with detailed dies like this, yeah, so this one here isn't a stain. This one here is designed to be stuck down. So this one you would use with your... Um, adhesive sheets. I wasn't sure if it was a, you know, cutout or full cutout. This is a full cutout. So it doesn't really work for our card. But what you could do is just like um, sponge this or even leave it as is. And then it looks like it's sort of part of the card because you're layering it on top like that. If you're going to layer another flower, then I'd probably keep it the same basic white so that it's not, it's there, but it's not taking over. So it could be like that. And then you have your flower overlay. Isn't that pretty? It's a very, very pretty detailed dye. Gorgeous. It's almost got like, little bit of embossing here as well or is that meant to be cut out hmm. maybe oh no it looks like this these little pieces here stay in that is really pretty and then this last one that I want to test is this gorgeous one here that I think would look really good with that rings of love paper Look really good with that, wouldn't it? Oh, good. I'm glad you're enjoying this, Cindy. I just think this is how I like to see how, I, like, what I want to use and how I want to use it. It's just having a little bit of a innovation moment. Now, this one here 
you would kind of need to line it up pretty well. So maybe even if you flip it over the other side so that you can see that it's sitting where you want it to sit. Oh, and of course it moves. <laughs> stay where I tell you to stay. <laughs> I wonder if you can leave it like that. Let's try it that way. <laughs> I've never tried it this way up. I'm probably doing something very wrong. Don't copy me anyone. <laughs> do as I'm doing I'm probably wrecking the machine by doing it like this but why not hey let's just give it a go I mean sticking it down with a little bit of washi is the way to go there we go not perfectly centered but we'll get the idea if you had more time you can um just stick it down oh this one's a really detailed one i can feel the way that it's going in did it work oh, i think so look at that i've never done it the other way around Seems to be cut. Oh, that's so pretty. I feel like I'm going into art deco mode. Oh, wow. Oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> I want to cry. <laughs> so much beauty. I was like, oh, I don't think these are cut out, but yep, everything cut out. That's a very, very good little trick. Oh, wow. Let's put it behind the basic black so that we can see it properly. What do you think, everyone? Whoa! Oh. <laughs> yes, cutting up is one of the recommendations for detailed dyes. There you go, Charlotte. I did not know that. Wow. Yes, this one is absolutely, so this one's called Artisan Editions. So these two sets of dies are both separate. They're not part of any bundle. So, yeah, you might have missed it. Did any of you miss it in the catalogue? Don't worry, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> I'm here to help you see what you missed from the annual catalogue. <laughs> I got your back. I am an enabler. <laughs> I will enable you to go for a little shop. And just remember, if you shop with us, if you live in Australia and you shop with us, you not only get the free tutorial valued at $21 with videos, but you also, this month, you get another free tutorial that's valued at $30 and it's a mega bundle. So you get like over $50 worth of tutorials if you shop with us in July. Plus you've got celebration happening. So it's a win-win for all. And we've got the shopping links at the bottom of the page. But I'll just put a little reminder here in case you want to do a little bit of a shoppy shop. You deserve it. <laughs> You're worth it. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's good, um, Janie. She said, I love about your show you're always trying to show dump something different for us yes I do try not necessarily technique wise but just show you highlighting different products and different ideas so now we've got all of these beautiful ideas let's do our flowers and then we can pick which one we like using the background this one here I feel like is the hero of its own story I don't think I would want to put a flower on top of that because it is just so divine as it is. And I would totally, in fact, we could probably even make this card, but I would totally layer it like this. And oh, maybe it might be a bit too much, actually. Maybe it fights with one another. Maybe I'd use an embossing folder in the background or something a little bit more subtle. But I love it with this one, but I think with that one it's a bit too full on. Maybe something like 
there's like a, a really beautiful, yes, that one there. Maybe something like that that's a little bit more subdued would be good with a die of this magnitude because you want it to be the hero. Of course, a different background, but yeah, you just have to play around and see which one suits it. But let's get some stamping happening. So I'm going to do a um, stem in the memento and the flower in the polish pink. Did I grab the polish pink? Yes, I did. There it is. I am organized. So let's grab polish pink and where's our flowers? Not there, not there. There it is, sitting underneath the mini that one there so I've got you and I've got you so watch how this stamps this stamp is unbelievable distinctive stamping I'm pretty sure I don't know if they say that it is distinctive stamping but it definitely is it's weird. Some things are distinctive, but they don't say that they're distinctive. Oh, get out. You've just made me look like a legend. <laughs> Thanks, Stampin' Up. Isn't it the best? I love it when you have, like, different grade. How do they do that? How do they do that? I just don't, I don't understand it. <laughs> it's like content aware on Photoshop, isn't it, Bruno? How do they do it? <laughs> What is this sorcery? <laughs> there we go. Oh, wow. I do actually really like that. Look at it already next to the card. <gasps> Can't wait to see it on there. And I think I'm going to do some um, embossing on the black. Yeah. So let's cut these babies out. Although I haven't really done it the mini skin size. So let's see if I can chop this down to mini skin size. Oh, it might be just a little bit. Oh, no, I might be able to do it. Because, you know, it just, it's so tiring walking across my room <laughs> and using the big. I love my mini, I really do. It makes me very lazy and I love it. <laughs> Like, no, I just want to stay on my desk. I don't want to get up out of my chair. And it can stay on my desk. It makes me lazy, but I don't care. <laughs> when I craft, that is the priority. Crafting, and I want to continue craft. Don't interrupt my crafting. <laughs> so with something like this, I don't feel like it needs to be detailed because it's just cutting out the outside. So that's where I can go back to using my grey. But if it's detailed cutting, yes, go back to your white because you're not going to get a proper cut otherwise. Uh, maybe I didn't grab these dies out actually. I thought I did. I grabbed a lot of dies, but maybe not these ones. Uh, don't make me get out of my chair. <laughs> I don't want to get up. <laughs> oh, is that it? No. <laughs> there we go. What's the name of them? These guys are called Organic Beauty Dyes. Good thing I have them in alphabetical order. Organic Beauty. Let's bring them over. Sorry, Bella. Sorry to interrupt you there. Look at this. Oh, it's getting very heavy. But I do ha love having lots of eyes. Organic beauty. See, it's so good putting things in alphabetical order. Whoops. Oh, that's very heavy. <laughs> it fell right next to Jasper, who did not move one muscle. He's like, I'm warm, I'm happy, I'm not moving. P.S. Look at organic beauty. 
<gasps> we could have used that. Isn't that beautiful? So pretty. Wow. That's another idea for you, everyone. Now, I think for something like this, oh, I'm doing it on the wrong layer. For something like this, I think I am going to use a little bit of tape. Oh, you've got my other tape here. The one that Brenna got it, the post-it tape. Because there was no washi left. I think I did sort of score some washi the other day, actually. I should use that. Until Stampin' Up! brings back some washi. Come on, Stampin' Up! I mean, the glitter's beautiful, but it's too beautiful. I can't use it for this purpose because it's too nice. It's too good a quality. I've got the wrong outside. That's this one here. So we need like some really dumb designs. <laughs> no, plain designs <laughs> so that we can use it for our sticking our dies down. Just a plain one, thanks. Plain plain white or plain black. I'm putting in my order for next catalogue. <laughs> People think that Stampin' Up actually Stampin' Up do actually listen to me. <laughs> they don't listen. <laughs> well, they listen. I'm not saying they don't listen, but you know, I don't have that much power. <laughs> I don't talk direct to the company. <laughs> I got a message with someone saying, um, can you please request these sentiments from Stampin' Up? Because I heard that you can ask them to print certain stamps. Ah, uh, no. I don't know who told you that, but no. <laughs> I don't have that much power. Oh, this is so cute. Yeah, I really like that. I know it's a bit dark and it's a bit, I don't know. It's not your usual flower, but if you want to go for green, you go for it. But I just felt like it didn't go with what I was doing. It needed to be, it needed to be black. Okay, now this is the fun bit. This is where we get to see what do we want. Oh, I'm already looking at this going. Oh, oh, oh. it's so pretty. So we could have something like this <gasps> look at that people are you seeing what I'm seeing we have the sentiment there <sighs> it's making me want to cry it's so beautiful now it's the house decision isn't it <laughs> yeah that's true actually I never thought about using the new masking paper but I don't know if it's that affordable to use I'd have to look at the affordability of using it for that purpose were these all the dies that we used i think they were all the cutouts but i am really loving the look of that one so we've got that one with those layers and of course we can still use some ribbon here i don't know what ribbon we're going to use if we use ribbon we might keep it minimal but it would look it would soften it all if we use some ribbon wouldn't it you love the black. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm using black. Because I just, yeah, I do want to bring the green in. I'm like, I don't want to bring another colour in. No. Don't want to. That was my voice. No. I don't want to bring another colour in. Oh, wow. That is, that is very pretty too, isn't it? Now let's see if it's too busy on here because we've got no, this is the thing with this one, we've got no landing space. I like that we've got like a landing spot. But with this one, it's all just up in the air. So I think with this one, what you would have to do to ground it is you could put a little bit of um, vellum behind it. But see how it's, there's nothing grounding it. Can you all see that? It just kind of just goes, Ew. it gets swallowed up by the pattern. So, yeah, 
little tip if you're going to do something with this then you know create a landing space and it could be that you create a landing space by having like a little piece along here like so and you could rip it yourself let's do that let me show you how to do that because <laughs> that's what that's what I'm doing today <laughs> I'm just inventing random ideas because it's our prerogative to just make up stuff as we go There we go. Landing gear on. Landing space. Engage. There we go. There's our landing gear. And voila, people. What do we think? Landing space. I really like that. <laughs> Does this does this make you happy now, Amy? <laughs> or Amy, I should say. I really like it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, now I don't know which one to be. It needed a landing gear. But we also have this one here. So let's try that one. If I'm gonna use one, I'm I'm leaning towards this one. But I do really like the gym. Oh, I do really like this one. But this is cool. I like that idea. And this is our other one. And this one here is actually a surprise. I really like that one. What do we think, people? What's your favourite? So should we name it? We've got number one, number two, number three, and number four. Put your numbers in. Which one are we doing? And it would be with the rip. One, two, three, four. Lock in your favourite. Lock in your favourite. I don't know what song that is, but that's what we're going with. One, two, three, four. I know it's very hard. I like them all. All of them would look amazing. It made a huge difference, didn't it? Yep. Just a landing platform. Landing gear. <laughs> on oh we've got a four. Oh, we've got a one you like one <laughs> oh three a few threes one four oh we're all over the place oh we've got a lot of threes happening three or four. Oh, a few twos <laughs> Thanks, Beverly. Awesomeness. <laughs> oh, what are we going to pick? It's such a, it's like a three-way tie between one, three, and four. Oh, <laughs> true. Hi, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's either three or four happening here. I love them all. Don't let me pick. <laughs> so let's have a look at three and four so we can decide. I'm pretty sure it's going to be between this one. That is very pretty. One thing I do like about this one is it does sort of coordinate with that background but four sort of brings in like this geometric sort of feel, which I do, I actually really like that. It's very me. <laughs> yeah, <I'm sorry. laughs> that, look, that is, to me, this feels like it's popping off the page, doesn't it? And turning it upside down, someone said, Nessa said, turn it upside down. Let's try it that way. I feel like it needs its little landing spot. Like that's where the stem needs to start. That's just my personal opinion, but that's how I, I feel like it needs to be grounded. It needs floor. It needs to be, you know, otherwise it's like, I'm all scattered. I don't know who I am. Who really am I? Just ground me. That's exactly what this flower sounds like. 
Yes, the trellis. That's so true. That is a very good point. I think we're, we I think we're going with number four, everyone. But I cannot wait to see the projects that you make with all the others because they are gorgeous. And I love this idea of having the rip. Rip. I'm doing it like that. You could even have the rip showing where it, it, you can really see that there's a rip there. So cool, isn't it? So I think we're going to go with that. Now, do we have any polished pink ribbon? Mm, let's see what ribbon we've got. I don't think we're going to use any ribbon today, I really feel. Maybe we've got like a... Oh, we've got some iridescent pearl. <gasps> oh, I know what we're going to do. We're going to use our iridescent pearls. And I think we're going to colour it in in polished pink. Do we have polished pink blends? And I think we can add a little... Oh, maybe we're going to use... <gasps> no. No, I'm using black. <laughs> I'm like, no, nah, I'm using matte black. <laughs> Where's our matte black dots? Um, I think they might be in the mini catalogue one. No, not in there. I've got so many different embellishments now, I can't keep up. We've got three different containers. Oh, found them. You can stop looking, everyone. I found them. These are the exact ones I'm going to use because they're large and small. But you could totally use, um, like there's even the in colour ones here too. And that would look, they would look gorgeous, these ones with the glitter. But yeah, up to you. I do love, I love a black embellishment dot. It's like my favourite. So let's do a little bit of combining here and I think we'll do a little bit of, you know, dimensionals and things as well because we can. Oh my goodness, the glue just spat on me. The big blob on my leg. The blob. Okay. I like using my green glue. What do you all call your glue, by the way? What do you call this? Do you call it Tombow? Do you call it green glue? Do you call it multi-purpose adhesive glue? <laughs> I like green glue. I think green glue is really fun. Got my green glue. Not to be, like, confused with the green whistle. The green whistle in Australia is the pain medication. <laughs> It's like morphine or something, I think, that the ambulance gives people when they're not feeling well. Green glue. <clears throat> oh, I'm like, I can't see comments because I'm not on there. Ah, oh, green glue. Oh, mono glue. Interesting. Hmm. We all have a different name for it. I like green glue. But I mean, anything works. Tombow or green glue. Oh, yeah. Green glue. Liquid glue. Tombow, yeah. Yeah, I probably should use next time when I remember <laughs> adhesive sheets. But for now, we'll just do a couple of little dots around here in places just in the places that it counts you can even sponge it I've seen um, Patty Bennett she does a really good um, like a little bit of water on a block with her daubers and then she daubers it which is a really good idea because you get you probably get better coverage doing it that way but I'm a bit lazy. I like the fastest way. Oh my goodness, this looks so pretty. Good pick, everyone. Really, really beautiful. And I feel we're going to have that flat and that one. Mm. 
feel like this needs to be raised as well just to really create some shadow. Yep, you're both going up. You're going up. I feel like it needs to go that way. Oh, I just will see where I want it to go on here. Yeah, that works there. Messy. <laughs> just glue. I like that, Carrie. Just glue. Just my glue. <laughs> oh, thank you, Paula. I'm glad you're loving this. I'm loving it too. I shock myself sometimes. I really do. But this is where, when you have a layout, it really helps you to be creative. Ah, oh, welcome back, Bruno Petucci. I'll forgive you. <clears throat> Please forgive me. I had a phone call to take. I'll be like, please don't start singing, Kylie. So embarrassing. I don't mind the the whatever you call that stem. I don't mind that not having. I'm just gonna stick one there so it stays in place. Um, yeah. I don't mind that having no dimensions. You could put a little mini there if you want to, but I don't mind it, you know, being free. Free! Wee! In fact, we'll probably put a sentiment over the stem anyway. So it'll be fine. It'll get stuck down. Oh, I've gone for a little bit of a walkabout, this flower. There you go. That's a bit better. sort of want it let's put it on here and then we can then we can see and I think we'll do like a little sentiment yeah I like that I'm going to do a sentiment along here and I'm going to emboss that I also want that to be raised too this is like an epic card it's like layer upon layer I think to post this I'm probably going to need to like put it in a parcel <laughs> because it's over the 20 centimetres, <laughs> 20 millimetres, I mean. <laughs> now, where, literally, I just, oh, I, here they are. I was like, I just had the dimensionals. <laughs> Spoke too soon. So much drama, so dramatic. Calm the farm. <laughs> Don't make me decide. <laughs> no saggy bottoms. I've got another one here. I've got minis. And I've got a drawer full of dimensionals. But you know me, I don't want to get up. <laughs> I want to stay in my chair. Oh, found some. I found some edges, everyone. Who's been leaving all the edges? Bruno. Do you love the way I said that? Bruno. <laughs> Such a nagging wife. <laughs> Yesterday I was telling Bruno to do something. I was like, and then I look. I actually stopped myself and I listened. And I'm like, oh, you're such a nagger. Why? Why do? Why are we born to nag our husbands? And I said, I'm very sorry. That was just like you knew what you were doing. Pack it. Put it away. We're gonna be. Hurry up. It's like, no. How about you just be patient, Kylie Batucci, and just zip it. Yeah, very sorry, Brené. Very sorry. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't like the way I sound right now. Yes. <laughs> so beautiful, everyone. Now, I'm going to put the sentiment on first, then we'll put our little embellishments on. So our sentiment, what are we going to choose for our sentiment? I've got a little scrap piece that happens to be here. Let's use the Awash in Beauty to see what we have there. Well, it's True Beauty, it's called. Oh, no, it's, oh yeah, there's a couple here that we can use because we don't actually need. I think they're just because. I'm feeling it. That one's really pretty too. With love here for you always that's really sweet but I do like that script I feel like it yeah 
I think it's going to look really nice on there. So let's do just because I said so. And then this is a really good one to have for random act of kindness cards or you can do it for anything. It's like, oh, I'll just have it sitting there. And then when I feel like sending it, it was just because it fits everything then. You're ready to go. And I've got my brand new <laughs> tray and my brand new tweezers. Isn't this so exciting? Look at all this excitement. Have you got yours yet, everyone? Oh my goodness. Get it. Get it, get it, get it. Even these tweezers are so cool. <laughs> so exciting. I never knew something could spark so much joy in me. <laughs> I'm like, this is the best thing ever. <laughs> Just, yeah, tap it a few times because it's new. It might not. Yeah. Yeah, we've got our embossing powder ready to go. It's so exciting. I don't have to use a piece of paper every time. I was using my mini paper. Just because I said so. Oops. Yep, that looks good. Bring in our tray. <laughs> our little tray. And bring in our little... Save yourself from getting burnt tweezers and dump away because all of that is going to be collected. See how good it is when you use your embossing buddy? No little fragments, no little specks. I used to think it was this whole thing was just a big scam, but no, it really works, people. Legitimately works. Oh, good, Linda. I wasn't sure about it either, but I thought, yep, I'm breaking the rules and having a black stem. <laughs> it arrives tomorrow, Charlotte. You're going to love that kit. It really is a beautiful suite. Yeah. Wow. I love embossing. Look at that. It's just the best. And then we can do this. And we can do that. And we can go, whee! And we've got a little brush just to scoop it all in there. And then it makes sure that every little bit of powder is in the little jar. Isn't that the best, people? So glad that Stampin' Up! brought back their tray because I actually kept my tray. It's the one thing, literally the one thing, sorry, I keep tucking you, that I kept. I'm like, I cannot, no, I cannot part with it. And I would never tell you all, but outside of my videos, I would always use my tray. <laughs> Like, I'm not telling any of you. I used to use the tray on the videos and then everyone would be like, where would you get the tray from? I'm like, oh, I can't keep using this tray. <laughs> it's driving everyone nuts because they can't get their hands on it. I did it out of love for all of you. Now, I feel like this needs to be, I was going to cut it to the edge, but I feel like it's going to be too small. So let's just try doing a bit of surgery here where and I could just trim it but I'm not the best at making things straight so like with scissors oh it's a little bit close anyway we'll see what it looks like I can always do it again oh no that works out well actually because the base is going to be I'll just do the rest snipping because it is a bit crooked still. Still managed to make things crooked. 
<laughs> I was never born to be an architect because the building would fall down. I feel like it's this side that's a little bit skew if that's a bit better. <laughs> it's very crooked. <laughs> oh no. Let me see what I could do. Just move that out of the way. Get my snips back again. I might have to end up cutting it to the edge after all. Maybe if I go in like this. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Hey, that's not bad. That's actually a lot better. <gasps> yes. Now I'm going to ground this by putting it up against the edge. Don't you think? Oh my goodness. I'm in love. I'm in love. Let's do some little minis and then we can put our little dots on. No saggy bottoms. Do one in the middle as well because <laughs> otherwise it'll get a saggy middle. Oh my goodness. What do we think everyone? Now we could go up a little bit higher. Oops, sorry, you're not there. Mm, I do want some of the stem to show because we could do it there, but I do like the stem sort of coming out, but I want a little bit like extra. I don't want tiny little bit. I think we're going to go about so. And that's how I work it out. I just keep playing until it's in a place where I'm happy. What do you think, everyone? <laughs> so I've not done what so much for the catalog. I, I hear you. I'm hearing you loud and clear. And then let's add our little dots. I'm going to do three. So I like to do the big one and small one. I'm using my take your pick tool and just the sticky end and pushing against it. Dina Recow taught me this little trick. Now I could come along here, but I think, oh yes. See, what I like to do, it's my thing, and you don't have to do this, but just with embellishments, I want kind of like it to be like in a kind of different direction. Because if I come over here, I feel like it's just lopsided. So it's like you've got to balance those embellishments out. I love that. I just think that that is literally, I, I can't believe I just made that card. <laughs> and I hate pink. <laughs> I am not a pink girl at all, but I must say Polish pink is very nice pink. <laughs> so what do we think? I'm very, very happy with this card. If I do say so myself, I feel like it's a masterpiece. If I do say so myself. <laughs> I'm just as surprised as you are. Don't you worry about that. I am shocked. Let's do a little bit of uh, sponging here. Because, you know, we can. Why not? I even got out of my chair for it, people. <laughs> I'm, I'm invested in sponging. Oh, actually, I'll show you this. This is really fun too. So you can do like a double up where you have the piece here. Grab a bit of your polish pink ink.
beautiful. You can do that or well, both, you can have that and that, like so. And that can be the inside of the card or even this bit. Isn't that cool? Just a little tip. I'm gonna use this because it looks so beautiful. And again, much easier if you use your adhesive sheets, people. <laughs> Just put them next to your machine so that you don't forget. I need to like stick on the top of my machines. Adhesive sheets. Reminder, adhesive sheets. Because I always somehow remember after I've cut it, which is not very helpful. Oh, glorious people, glorious. We've gone to all this work, we may as well make the inside fancy too right move that out of the way because that polished pink is like freaking me out wow 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 and i'm pretty sure i had another piece of well, maybe i didn't i thought i'd cut another one of this but i'm going to cut it and do so we've got so much designer series paper everyone we've got to make sure that we're using it all up hey tanya good to see you so just do the poppy parade size and it's totally up to you what you want to do inside, but you could actually just flip it on its head and do something completely different. But I think I'm vibing the same thing. So it's like following through on the inside. Because, yeah, we've got like 72 sheets, 72 card front sizes is what one pack of designer series paper gives you. So, you know, six card fronts per sheet you've got plenty there to be able to do the inside as well right <gasps> yes 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 and i'll do one last thing one last piece of resistance because i always forget to do this i'm invested people got out of my chair but i feel Yes, that it deserves some Wink of Stella. I won't go too crazy. But just, you know, add a little bit of something. And it's just that, I don't know, the finish is just so pretty to have, like if you're going to go pink, you got to go like glitter too. I think pink and glitter just go hand in hand with one another. If you're going to go girly, you go girly the whole way. I don't know if you can see that, but the wig of Stella is gorgeous. You like my dot placement? I'm so happy. <laughs> there we go, people. What do you think? Very pretty, classy card. Excellent. The card of the year. <laughs> Thanks, Hope. <laughs> you needed the distraction this morning. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, your auntie. Oh, sending hugs, Elaine. It's a really tough time for people. Yep. We just need a really good, healthy distraction. That's what I love about card making. It's just like, la, la, la. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is awesome. Everything is awesome. <laughs> thank you deborah over on facebook you love the winker still yeah the winker still is great i do forget to use it though oh i'm so glad you all enjoyed thank you for helping me choose the background i was really struggling with which background to use but i cannot wait to see 
what all of you are going to come up with and just remember you can use these stencils these beautiful detailed um die cuts to do like stenciling as well so it has you know it has a lot of uses you can sponge away and use it for other things imagine that done in sponging all at the front of your card like so pretty you can even just to have it so that it shows the the you know gradient there so it has a dual dual purpose but all of these are so pretty aren't they so impressed so it's the I'll put the links up so if you live in Australia you can purchase any of these items from us the artisan editions is one set of dies and then the other set of dies are the split card textures so I'm glad I could introduce those to you and then this suite is the a wash in beauty I want to awash myself in beauty true beauty that's the stamp set and they come with dies as well so yeah really awesome products and I hopefully have showcased them in a way that makes you just have to get it how many of you have I enabled today <laughs> how many of you are going shopping after this <laughs> so you can see look at these designs same design people exactly the same layout you saw the card templates right at the beginning and if you don't have those definitely go and get them but would you look at these cards and think oh my goodness Kylie's done the same layout again she has no creative bone in her body no you'd be like oh, are you serious it's the same layout that's so creative we make these stupid rules I don't know why we make these stupid rules so you could just use this change the paper like this and this is the same suite people the same pack of paper would you look at them and think uh they're from the same suite <laughs> no <laughs> all you have to do is change the paper and change the like layout a little bit i love having this stepped up version you know simple stamped straight on there but yeah love the stepped up using the dies yes it's very exciting <laughs> still number four <laughs> number four was um oh yeah this was number four <laughs> that layout <laughs> oh thank you everyone it's so lovely seeing all of you here today you know i love catching up with you every week so let's take a picture let's take a picture together make sure i don't run over jasper because <laughs> he always sits behind my chair <laughs> yay I have to make sure I do the photo today because I haven't changed the photo on my last videos <laughs> very exciting what the dyes aren't available in the US which dyes <sighs> See, that's why you need to live in Australia, everyone. <laughs> we have the dyes here. <laughs> so it's, um, is it the art, 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 artisan? I was like, artesian? Artisan <laughs> um, editions or the split card textures that aren't available in the US? That would be very interesting to hear. Hmm. So remember, if you do purchase the Awash in Beauty suite, that we do have our tutorial um, bundles available. So, and at the month, at the moment, you can get the subscription. So you can either decide to do the subscription, and then you get one month for free. And so this, I think, yeah, for the next six months, we've got some awesome awesome um designs that we're using from each different suite but there, there's the full payment or the month by month payment for the subscription and just remember that if you shop with us no matter what you spend you will get the option to get free tutorials from us of the month 
So this month of free tutorial is the Awash in Beauty if you shop with us. I feel like I've got like so much makeup on my face. I've probably like wiped lipstick on my face. <laughs> oh, thank you, Linda. I'm glad you liked that. Yeah, you can sort of step it up a little bit every now and then. I do love simple, but I do love some layers too. I really love layering. Ah, oh, the split textures are not available. <gasps> How devastating. Well, in Australia they're ready. I'm pretty sure they're still here. Let's have a look and make sure. Split textures. It would be um, interesting to see, or split cards I should say. There they are. $49 in Australia and you get the two dies. They're here in Australia. Sorry, US peeps. <laughs> My wish list is getting longer. Yeah, we all, we all know that feeling. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, that's very sad for all of you in the US. I'm very sorry for showing you something that you girls can't get. Yes, just have to be patient. Oh, at least you know what your first, your first wish list item is the moment they come back. We'll have to tell everyone. They're back! <laughs> You'll have to be patient. Yeah. So I think that was everything to share with you today. The tutorial bundle. If you want to go shopping with us, you live in Australia, we'd love to help you any way we can. Um, if you need the new catalogs and you don't have a demonstrator that you're purchasing through already, then we'd love to help you. Uh, we've had a few new ones and new customers join us the last couple of weeks, which is always really exciting. So if you're looking for something fun, a good healthy distraction, um, yeah, a community of lovely people, we're here to support you in your creative ideas. We've got lots of tutorials, lots of support. So we'd love to help you any way we can. And just please reach out to us if you're not sure where to begin, if you're new to card making, we would love to help you any way we can. So um, yeah, just ask us, say help. I don't know where to start and we can say the kits are great start with the kits if you've never done crafting before and then you can work your way up from there so I think there was a new kit that's been re uh, released today actually or yesterday let's have a look and see new arrivals yes the best remedy kit I'll show you what it's so cute I don't know if it's the same everywhere in the world, but that's what has happened in Australia. That we have this new kit. Let me share it with you. Ta da! Here he is. So, this is a great place to start. If you're new to card making, you can have um, all of the cards already pre embossed and pre printed, and then you can stamp these cute little animals. A mouse, a skunk, and that poor little chicken. A little birdie told me you're under the weather. And it's a very cute little set. Look at that. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, so it looks like um the others are pre-printed. Yes, they're already pre-printed and coloured for you. So that's a really great beginner's set. But you still get the little skunk there. And I agree, ice cream is the best remedy. Look at the little ice cream. <laughs> That's really cute. Sorry, life stinks sometimes. It really does stink sometimes. That's a really cute set. So that's available for purchase now. If you're looking for something to go shopping, then you can add that to your cart. Yep, add. And then make sure that if you, at the moment, if you go over $90, then you get a freebie. So add another one. Add two. And then when you go to your shopping cart, add three because it doesn't go to 90. <laughs> no, there's other kits there. So you can, oh, no, you can add the split card. There you go. Add a split card textures <laughs> and minus one of them. And then you're over the 90. Um, but in fact, I think you can do, oh, look at that. Spot on 90 people. <laughs> split card textures and the best remedy kit. And then you get to get a celebration item. Let me watch what happens here. You go check out. Just make sure you get the host code. It's always on our blog. 
but if I check out, it will pop up with dun, 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 you've earned freebies. And then you get to pick one of these items for free. So this is the paper that I used on one of my cards. Actually, was I going to use this and I didn't end up? Oh, no, I used the this one on the right-hand side for the male, the masculine card. So you might want some free paper. This is valued at like $20 or some hippos. Look at those cute hippos. They're free at the moment with a $90 order. And if you go to 180 then you can get two of these level ones. But there's also free with a $180 purchase too. You might want to get some dies. I wanted to try my layout with this one, this freebie. So there's a lot of cool freebies at the moment. So it's a great time to go shopping. So there you go. I'm going to add uh, <gasps> paper. <laughs> Free paper. Yay. <laughs> and then when you press continue, it should, yeah, it's added that for you. If you're not sure if it's added, you'll see that your cart has now got three. You can just go back to your cart, which is that little shopping thing with a three on it. And you can see here it says, yep, you've got the free paper added. But any issues, if you've accidentally missed out on putting it in, then just let me know. And then you can add your host code here, which, as I said, is always found over on our blog, kyliebatucci.com. And it's always sitting under the current host code. So you can just copy and paste and apply. And that will get you the free tutorial bundle. See how it's added it. It's all happy. And then you can check out. So, yeah, go for a little shop. Have some fun. We need some joy in our life. <laughs> it's time to go shopping. <laughs> So thank you all very much for being here. Oh, you love the new kit. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you for being here over on Facebook and on YouTube. It's so lovely seeing you. And we shall see you next week for more inspiration and ideas. We love coming up with new things using new products um, and just showing you how to use them in the best way possible and get the most out of them. Because it's great to go shopping, but we want to make sure that you use them as well. And keep sending those cards out too. <laughs> I dreamt about you two last night when I woke up. <laughs> one of your videos was playing on my phone. I'm very sorry about that, Tammy. Were we singing in your sleep? <laughs> you poor thing. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. <laughs> oh, the US has that kit. I'm so happy to see that. That's great. Well, have a wonderful creative week and also uh, wonderfully... Um, giving weeks. Think about who you can send your cards to and if you're not already part of our Random Act of Kindness group, please come and join us over there um, because we're sending lots and lots of um, Random Act of Kindness cards all around the world. So come and join our groups. The Love It Chop It group as well is fantastic. Um, you can sign up for the Love It Chop It workshop um, and come and join us and get lots of inspiration over there as well. Love you too, Beck. <laughs> Speak to you all soon and keep well and be safe. And we shall, shall see you very, very soon. I'm going to keep waving until I see myself waving on the screen, which apparently last week waved for a very long time. But that's okay. <laughs> it's better than, like, cutting it off. It cuts it off. Bye. Bye, everyone. See you soon. I don't want to go.